not one, not two, uh, but three Packers games on the schedule. Week three, dynamite game, Packers at Saints. Uh, the uh, latest iteration of Bears at Packers in week 12. And then a, a Titans-Packers game all the way at the end. That's a 3G situation right there for you guys as we pop the schedule up here. And we had right. uh, we had Favre on this show two Wednesdays ago, and he said that uh, the Jordan Love drafting will definitely have the wheels turning inside Rodgers' head. And you're going to watch that drama play out in year two of Matt LaFleur and, and Aaron Rodgers and what's going on right in front of your very eyes with some pretty big games for this team how, how do you how do you uh as somebody who's watched the the young montana stuff the Favre rogers stuff you've seen this play out before do you do you see this another situation like what we're assuming it is al well you sure made news with that uh, Favre <laughs> interview that was that was something i heard it that day and that was i thought that was pretty interesting obviously and a lot of people picked up on it you know i look at the top quarterbacks through you know all the years that i've I've done this. You go to to Marino and Montana and, you know, with Brady and, and the Manning boys and and even Aaron Rodgers right now in his mid thirties. And everybody's saying, well, you know, this is the kind of thing that lights a fire under them. And I'm thinking to myself, and then go back to, you know, Garoppolo too, when he got drafted by New England a few years back. I know these guys, they don't need a fire lit under them. These guys are all out all the time. And there's all knowing these guys, there's not one of them that I knew wasn't all out, no matter what was going on. So when people say, oh, boy, this will really get Aaron uh, crazy or, or um, uh, he'll be a, a better quarterback because he's got this guy behind him, I don't buy that. I don't buy that. I, Aaron Rodgers has so much pride and, uh, and is so intelligent and gets everything that I don't see Aaron Rodgers because Jordan Love is there. Uh, on the bench playing any better than he would had, uh, you know, you had anybody else uh, behind him uh, on the bench, like, you know, an older quarterback, a guy that wasn't going to take his place someday. Right. So I, I'm not one that buys into the fact that you've got to motivate these guys who are super motivated to begin with, have great pride in, in what they do. And uh, I, I just, I'm, I'm of a mind to, to, Expect them to play exactly the way they would play if none of this was happening on the side. Yeah, and last year, I mean, you called uh, the Packers 49ers game. That was another watershed moment, I, I would say. Certainly, that, that was when the, the Niners uh, spanking the Packers coming off of a bye week. And that that's when I think they kind of grabbed the, okay, they're for real um mantra and ran with it all the way through to beating the Packers in the NFC championship game and those were the last two Packers losses of their entire season you got the Niners three times Al right now as it's currently slated um how good do you think this team is based on everything that you've already seen moving around chess pieces uh from NFC teams from the free agency draft to the current day very very good Rich because you know, and we talked about it. We had the 49ers three times last year. It tur- turned out, you know, two in flex, and then we had them in the playoffs against Minnesota. And I keep going back, and, I, you know, I repeated it every time we had uh, the 49ers. But John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan said the first thing they wanted to do is build a Super Bowl defensive line. And when you look at how they've constructed that team, and if you want to go back to that Green Bay regular season game, at Levi Stadium, uh, the 49ers were able to blow them out early because of the pressure that was put on by that defensive line. You had the Rodgers fumble, and and then, you know, the roof caved in early. So you, you've got that defense, which is terrific, and they played very well, of course, in the Super Bowl up until the last six and a half or seven minutes of the game. So I look at them defensively, and I think they're very strong. I think Garoppolo's a, a really good quarterback. I mean, people – are trying to pick him apart right now. He's whatever you know they want to say. Okay, got it. Uh, he's got some good receivers. You got the running backs really came through. They had a whole bunch of them last year. I like the way Shanahan and and Lynch uh, have constructed this team. I think they're very clear-eyed. I think they uh, they see exactly what they need to do to make this team a contending team, and they clearly are. I mean, they're back. It's like the you know the glory days are back. They had two glorious decades 
Then the 2000 decade wasn't particularly good until Harbaugh got there. And then they were good again. And then they fell off the end of the earth again. And now they're back. So uh, I think the, the 49ers look to me like they're a team that's poised for a good long run here. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.